Arizona Attorney General Mark Burnovich is co-leading a lawsuit including 11 states against the Biden administration to stop vaccine mandate on private employers with over 100 employees. Cronkite, report, Cronkite News reporter Alyssa Stoney went to a press conference today at Burnovich's office where he discussed the latest actions. Burnovich was joined by representatives from the Phoenix Law Enforcement Association and United Phoenix Firefighters Association to oppose the vaccine mandate for private contracted employers with over 100 employees. The mandate would affect City of Phoenix firefighters and police officers. Arizona was the first state in the country to sue the Biden administration over the vaccine mandates. And now the city of Phoenix announced it will require all contracted employees to get the COVID-19 vaccine or be terminated from their jobs. That no one should be required or forced to get the vaccine, that that's a choice of individuals. Arizona Attorney General Mark Burnovich says the mandate is unconstitutional and nowhere in the U.S. Constitution does it give authority to the federal government to mandate vaccinations. Burnovich says it is a personal choice and right. I also believe very strongly that our first responders should never have to choose between their jobs, their livelihood, and their health insurance uh, versus an unconstitutional vaccine mandate. The United Phoenix Firefighters Association represents over 2,600 firefighters valley-wide. The vice president, Brian Willingham, says they are worried about the staffing issues due to the opposition against the mandate. My biggest concern is with our guiding principles and mission of being there to support the community and respond in less than five minutes to medical and fire emergencies, we won't have the ability ability to staff our units if individuals are forced to retire or, or leave the job. The general's office gave the Department of Justice a deadline of December 3rd to respond to the lawsuit. The city of Phoenix mandate says all employees must be vaccinated by January 18th. In the newsroom, Alyssa Stoney, Cronkite News.